Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Storm31600 with 1,127 rating versus B4P with 1,341 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in, and then we're going to see a tie, and we're going to see another tie, and then we're going to see Storm win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, so they get to decide if they want to go first or second this match, and then looking at the deck counts, we have 43 versus 40, and then Storm will be deciding to go first. And looking at the opening hands, we have Dark Ruler, Ancient Cloak, e Telly, Boots, and Shade. So they would have a going second card if they were going second. Uh, going first, the hand is definitely not bad. Uh, they have like a normal summon and then just a whole bunch of extenders. And then they have Ash, Gamma, Pet, OV, Harpies. Yo, this hand is nice. They have two hand traps going second, a Heavy Storm. Or, did I say Heavy Storm? I Harpy's Feather Duster. Ah, yeah, you, you get what I meant. Harpy's Feather Duster, not Heavy Storm. Uh, that can out like Fog Blades and stuff. And then this is Combo. So Normal Summon Ancient Cloak, and then e Telly Chain Ash Blossom, Special Summon Out Boots, and then go ahead and turn those into a Cherubini. Cherubini Effect, Dump Graph, Graph, Bring Out Seer, and then they're going to get rid of those for Rusty. Seer Effect, Bring Out Cherubini, and then Activate Rusty. They're going to go ahead and send Torn, and then set Fog Blade, Ancient Cloak to go grab Ragged Gloves, and then Torn Scales bring itself out, use that effect, discard Gloves, go send Fog Blade, and then they're going to go ahead and Fog Blade, bring out Gloves, and then overlay those for a Break Sword, and then they're going to get the Rusty effect to pop it, Break Sword effect to go ahead and summon out Torn Scales and Ragged Gloves. And then turn those into an Anaconda. Banish Boots to go grab Fog Blade. I feel like... Yeah, I don't think they're playing like the Assault Package. Like, they're definitely just not playing the Assault Package for sure. Uh, they're going to Shade bring itself out. And then go ahead and turn those into an IP. And then Anaconda effect. Pay 2k. Go dump Fusion. And Chain Gamma. And then bring out Driver. That's pretty good. And then set Fog Blade, pass turn, draw Arch, and then they're gonna activate Harpies out the back row. May as well Dark Ruler me too. <laughs> Imagine if they drew Dark Ruler instead of Arch. I mean, even then, like it's still. Oh, well, never mind. I was gonna. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say they still have an interruption, but they won it. Uh, they have two interruptions here. Uh, one in the form of Rusty Pop because Fog Blade summoned back, and then one in the form of IP. They're going to summon OV, go grab Misk, and then they're going to activate Misk effect, ditch itself, and then Misk, go bring out Arch, and then Arch effect, destroy Pet to go grab Pill, and then we're going to see Pet effect activate. That's going to go ahead. They're thinking of what they want to summon here. They're going to summon out a Giant Rex, THE Giant Rex, and then turn those into Artifact. Then they're reading that real quick. They're going to go Fog Blade, bring out Break Sword. And then Rusty to pop it, and then they're going to chain that effect to go ahead and set Scythe. And then Torn Scale effect, bring itself out. We'll chain Link 1 Rusty, Chain Link 2 Torn Scales. And then they're going to go Pill, Banish Giant Rex and Ash. They're thinking, they're going to chain IP effect of that. So they're going to go for, oh, they're going to go for Underworld using that. And then, yeah, that's Banished. Fair enough. Then bring out Conductor. Uh, so, you can do that, right? I've actually never had this interaction come up. I don't play Dino, nor do I play the Underworld card. Uh, I guess may as well read. I know this says activated effects. Unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Uh, this activates using your monsters, but then this lets you use one of theirs. But like that, that's not an activated effect to use one of theirs. But the IP effect to link is an activated effect. So... I want to say that you can do that. But maybe there's a chance that you can't. I don't. If you know, comment down below. I'm gonna look into it more after this match. Uh, I'm interested. 
Uh, that's another reason why I like going over these replays. I get to see interactions like this that would just never come up in my gameplay because, you know, I don't play Dino and I don't play Underworld. But if I end up do ever playing Dino or Underworld, now I'll know this interaction. So that's just going to make me a better player. I love these. All right, then they're going to go ahead and get Giant Rex to bring itself back out. And then they're going to go Battle Phase, Conductor Attack. And then Conductor beat over Rusty too. Then they're going to go ahead, pass turn, draw MST. Definitely don't MST the back row. They're going to go ahead and Dark Ruler. And then Fog Blade, bring out Rusty. Rusty Effect, that's going to go ahead and set wings and send Torn Scales. Ragged Gloves, send Cloak. And then they're going to get Cloak Effect to go ahead and add Boots. Torn Scales Effect, bring itself out. And then... They're thinking here, they're going to special summon out boots, free summon, and then overlay those for break sword, and then rusty effect, that's going to pop giant rex, and then break sword, pop conductor in itself, and then break sword effect, they go ahead and summon back out boots and torn scales, and then go ahead and overlay those for rider's knight, and then they're going to use that effect, go ahead and go for arc rebellion, and then they're using that, yeah, so there's no damage though. Set MST, and then end phase, this gets destroyed because, where is it, this, uh, it says uh, you can set it from your hand or deck as a spell, but then destroy it during your opponent's next end phase. So, it's going to go ahead, bring itself out, and then draw a lightning storm, huh, they just can't even use it because now they have scythe, but like, you know, they didn't have anything anyhow. So they're thinking here, they're going to go ahead and pass turn, and then draw Phantasmi. If they try to attack into this, then they can Wings. It's like, I guess then you can Lightning Storm. So, well, like, eh, like Lightning Storm just wouldn't do anything, because, like, this would make us that way, this can't be destroyed, and then this just can't be destroyed because of its effect. So, yeah, Lightning Storm doing that just wouldn't do anything. Fair enough. Said XYZ dies, special summon card cannot be destroyed by card effects. And then they're going to go ahead and use that effect, and then they admit defeat. So now moving on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see Dino choose to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Wings, Dark Magician, Shade, Nib, and Cloak, so not good. They have a Nib going second, which is usually very poor versus Dino. Then they have Cosmic, Ash, Pancratops, Terraforming, and Ash. Well, I guess Nib can be good if they go for, like, you know, the Artifact plus Tornado Dragon. Nib would actually be pretty solid there. Uh, but they're not going for anything. Pass, Draw, Droll. They're just going to go ahead and Main Phase, Activate Shade, and make it Link Spider, the Normal Summon Out Cloak. Go for Anaconda. And then Anaconda effect, pay 2k, dump fusion and the materials, and then bring out Dragoon. Then they're going to go battle phase, poke for some damage there. And then main phase 2, cloak effect, chain ash, and then they're going to chain Dragoon, negate, add gloves, and get rid of wings. And then pass. Yeah, that was for sure a good negate. Uh, you got to keep your engine going. They draw Sanctum. That would have been pretty good last turn. They're going to go ahead and terraforming, go grab Lost World, and then they're dropping Droll, activate Lost World, special summon out the Pank, and then they're going to get Token. Oh, they're not going to use Token. Fair enough. I guess, like, if you pass them a Token, then... Uh... Oh, well, why not pass a Token? I guess this is good to think about here. Uh, I guess, yeah, because they can Dragoon negate it then. Yeah, and if they Dragoon negate it, then you just lose. Yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. See, just think about it for a second, and then uh, you get it. And then set Sanctum, set Cosmic, pass play, draw Phantasma. Then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out Ragged Gloves, and then on that summon, they're going to go ahead and Sanctum, bring out Scythe. Imagine if they just started their turn, like Anaconda, Pay 2K, Dump Fusion. <laughs> That'd be crazy. And 
And then they're just going to go ahead, pass turn, draw Sanctum. Not a good draw. Scythe, beat over Anaconda. And then Pinkertops, go ahead and beat over Gloves. And then main phase two, set Sanctum, pass turn, draw Dark Ruler. And then they're going to go ahead and Gloves, Chain Ash, and then GG. So that was a really weird game too. But moving on to game three, we are going to go ahead and see the PK player decide to go first. Uh, they have a pretty good matchup. You know, Fog Blades go brrrr. Uh, opening hand is Prosperity, MST, Draw, Prosperity, and Fog Blades. So, so far, not a good hand. And then they have Lost World, Shadow Fusion, Fossil Dig, OV Fossil Dig. So, this is pretty good going second. Uh, they don't have any, like, uh, like hand traps going second or anything like that. But this is a really good going second card for sure. And then they're going to go ahead and Prosperity, Banishing 3, let's peep those, and then Mill 3, oh that's perfect, oh and Mind Control, going first, um, I guess. Uh, this card going second wouldn't even be that good versus Dino just because like they go for like the artifact stuff. If they were still going for like Dolka Conductor, you know, Mind Control take Dolka and it's like, ah, the power. That'd, that'd be pretty cool. And then go ahead, put those back to the bottom of the deck now. And then summon out Tour Guide. Tour Guide effect. Bring out Sangan. So they're also playing Sangan. Go for Cherubini. Sangan. Go grab Ash. And then set Fog Blade. Cherubini. Dump Graph. Graph. Bring out Seer. They're setting that to like try to protect that. And then go ahead, go for Rusty. Seer effect. Bring out Cherubini. And then Rusty effect's going to activate. Set Fog Blade by dumping Cloak. And then Cloak Effect to go ahead and grab Boots from deck to hand. And then Special Summon out Boots. And then turn those into an Anaconda. Anaconda Effect's going to activate. Pay 2k, Dump Fusion, and Materials. And then go ahead and Summon out Dragoon. Also, why, why do like half the players on DB... Well, not half, but... Why do a lot of people on DB just play in draw phase? I feel like, again, it's like overly simple to go to main phase. Also... Before we pass turn, I tried Duel Links, horrible. Absolutely horrible. I sat there for like 15 minutes. I got no gameplay. You know, I got, I got to choose between like Kaiba or Yu-Gi-Oh. And then, you know, I chose it. And then I won like two seconds. And then I got to skip a match. And then it kept just leveling me up. I got to like level three and a half. And I just didn't even get to play. And I was like, all right, I want to play against someone. And it was... I, I don't know. I feel like it was just too difficult. Like, it was just boring. Uh, there should just be an option, like, hey, play against random people, but instead it wanted me to play, like, a story mission. I didn't know Duel Links was like that. I thought it was just, like, DB, but Duel Links instead. I don't know. I, d I definitely thought it was different <laughs> than what I have seen. I've only seen duels. I didn't know there was, like, a whole story behind it. But, pass turn, draw pet. And then... They're going to go ahead and go main phase, activate Lost World, and then they're going to go ahead and shut all fusion. They're going to go ahead and chain Ash Blossom to negate that, and then Fossil Dig to go grab Misk, and then they can just drop Droll here, which is very insane. And then they're going to go Misk Effect, discard, summon OV, OV2, Lost World 1, chain link through Fog Blade. Uh, it does dodge Misk because it's not an activated effect. And then they're going to get a token, and then they're going to go ahead and Misk Effect, and then they're going to go ahead and change Dragoon to negate that, because they don't want that bringing out, I guess it wouldn't even, like, really matter, but, like, summoning something out, they just don't want that, so they're going to go ahead and negate, because, like, they summon out Arch, they could, like, link into something, or they could just, like, you know, Link Karibo, Secure Garden, Attack Token, Destroy from Deck, and then, like, you just Dragoon Negate that. And then, like, you also just have, like, Fog Blade. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth negating. But, yeah, they're just going to admit defeat there. We can see that their hand just doesn't do anything else past that. But, that was a pretty good match. Like, we saw, like, Tour Guide in the Sand Game. Definitely did not expect Sangan there. I haven't seen Sangan in this deck in a while since like the deck was first being tested out. So that was for sure different. Other combos were different than normal. 
Uh, the match itself was about 41 minutes long. Also, this is going to be my last time showing off PK for a little while just because I showed it off like two days in a row. I don't want to like overdo it on these random decks. I kind of want to get like a splash of every different deck in high rated DB while also getting meta. Uh, you know, Dino is like kind of meta. Everyone likes seeing this deck, it seems like. Uh, I, I personally don't like the deck. I don't, I don't. Not that I don't like it, I just don't think the deck's that good, uh, as everyone says it is. But I can't wait for Scrap Raptor, hopefully that helps out the deck a lot. I feel like it will, I've seen combo videos with it, but just because you know a deck can do a crazy combo doesn't mean that's going to be optimal, or even the best deck of the format. Uh, we've seen this plenty of times before, like Spiral in 2017, the deck was insane at going first, but it was just a better going second deck. Um... So yeah, it'll, it'll be cool to see for sure. I can't wait to see it. Um, hopefully, you know, I just want to see Drytron support, Tri-Brigade support, Dino support, Dragon Link in July. Hopefully they just smack it out of existence. I hope they just, like, do a crazy ban list to it. Like, does anyone remember, like, how they hit Necroz before? Like, they hit it slowly and then just hard. Like, they, they they just hit it extremely hard, extremely quick. Like, they banned Jin and they were like, oh, that's not enough. All right, next ban list, like, Shrip banned. Uh, like, Brio to one, Unicorn to one, I think is what it was. Maybe Brio was that too. I don't know. But they hit the deck so hard to where it was, like, unplayable afterwards. That's what I want to happen to Dragon Link. I don't want Dragon Link being played. I'm cool with seeing Dragoonity. I'm cool with seeing Dragon Maids. But come on, everyone is so bored of Dragon Link. Like, LP has been going burr for over two years now. I know it hasn't been every single format, but it's been, like, over half the formats where it has been, like, the best deck or arguably one of the best decks. So, I don't know. It's The deck itself is just starting to get really boring. But I'm not going to go on any more Dragon Link arguments because like I, i've said it so many times like it should have just been hit last format but with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day